I am going to show you how to reduce background noise using Audacity. I will be using this file to show you the demo. Let's hear it a bit to understand what kind of noise Audacity can remove and how to remove that. Okay, now I think it will be the perfect recording because uh, that. Okay, so you have listened to the recording and it has some white noise, white background noise. Though the recording volume is not perfect to share it in other projects, for example, if you want to share it on YouTube, you have to adjust the volume a bit. So I'll increase the volume of this clip through normalize. Though you should be careful, normalize is not the first step you should apply for your audacity effects. I'll link to a video with the correct order of applying audacity effects. For this example, I want to show how to reduce noise. So I am applying normalize first to adjust the volume level. Okay, now I think it will be the perfect recording. Okay, so now you see that the noise is quite high, but there is a pattern of this noise. This noise is only actually white background noise. White background noise means some kind of hissing noise which can come from laptop fan or come from AC unit, this kind of thing. Irregular background noise like traffic noise or children talking nearby or any other kind of irregular background noise is not removable using Audacity. For those kind of noise, you can use other softwares. I will also link a video in the description about that. To reduce noise from Audacity, you have to select a noise only part first. This noise can be from the beginning or from the middle or anywhere of the audio. The main point is this noise is present all over the audio or actually in the talking part of the audio. So I have this hissing sound at the beginning. Select this and go to effect noise reduction. Noise reduction is a two step process. Step one is to tell Audacity how your noise looks or the pattern of the noise. So you do that by selecting a only noise and then click on the get noise profile. The second part of this noise removal process is to configure the noise reduction settings. So this time select all of the audio and go to effect noise reduction again. You can see here three sliders. The first slider is for reducing the noise. You will specify how much noise you want to reduce through this noise reduction. Though the default, the default audacity settings is 12. Then the sensitivity. Sensitivity is the way to tell audacity how aggressive it will be on the noise reduction. If you set the sensitivity too high, it will aggressively reduce noise. If you set the sensitivity too low, it will reduce no noise. The ideal settings for this should be 6. There are some drawbacks in reducing the noise. You may think that I should apply the most aggressive settings for noise reduction, but it has a different kind of implication. If you are too aggressive in the noise reduction, then the voice quality becomes quite harsh or the voice becomes quite poor to listen to. You can see the Audacity recommended settings in the Audacity manual guide. Click on the help icon and scroll down a bit and you will see that it says that noise reduction should be 6, sensitivity should be 6 and frequency smoothing should be 6. Well, well the frequency smoothing means that when you reduce background noise from Audacity, it actually creates a gap and frequency smoothing tries to reduce that gap so that the voice sounds smoother. So I'll keep this to 6. First, I will apply all the settings with a value of 6. And to apply these settings, click OK. Or you can preview how it sounds now. Preview will play a 6 seconds of audio. Okay, now I think it will be the perfect recording. Because uh, that... Okay, so with the preview, we can see still the white noise is quite listenable. If your noise level is this high, then it is not possible to reduce all the noise in Audacity without hampering the audio quality. So I'll try to set the noise reduction level to 12 and preview. Okay, now I think it will be the perfect recording because uh, that with the noise reduction settings of 12, the noise becomes a bit lower, but it is still there. And there is little you can do about that. If you increase the noise reduction value much, then you will see that the audio quality becomes quite bad. Okay, now I think it will be the perfect recording because uh, that this time you can see the noise is quite gone, but the actual voice sounds quite empty. 
so my suggestion is to keep the noise reduction value from 6 to 9 and keep other value 6 and see how much noise it can reduce. That is one thing you should notice that you should not be worried about this only noise part after reducing noise. You should think about the actual voice, how much noise is in the actual voice after reducing the noise. Because this only noise part, you can either delete it or you can use a noise gate to completely remove it. But the noise in the voice is the main thing that actually matters. And if you are editing your audio for YouTube, then then a little bit of noise doesn't matter. Why is that? If people are listening your audio in a noise environment, then your audio noise and their noise will blend together and they will notice little. If they are listening in a quiet environment in the in a headphone, then they will notice this noise. So for YouTube kind of voiceover, you should not be too much worried about a little bit of noise. You should try to reduce as much as you can without degrading the voice quality. Okay, now I think it will be the perfect. So I see there is still some white noise in this audio, but with Audacity, you cannot do much about that. You can use other effects like EQ and compression, so that can take the noise flow a bit down. The solution of this problem is to record in a way so that that much noise do not get into the recording. I deliberately recorded this with this much noise to show you the actual purpose of noise reduction and how much it can do. There are some software which can reduce this kind of white background noise completely without degrading the audio quality but those are not free, those are paid. I will link a video in the description showing the use of those softwares so you can check that if you are looking for those kind of thing but keep in mind if you if Audacity is the only software you are using for noise reduction, then you have to take care of this thing in the recording. You have to record in a way so that you get as little noise as possible. It is not completely possible to eliminate all the noise. Even sometimes the laptop fan can start making noise. Sometimes the AC unit making noise. Or sometimes there are a situation which you cannot control. So you are getting noise. Even you completely turn off all the distraction or all the white noise generators you can still get some white noise because the preamp or the microphone is still generates some kind of white noise though modern microphones generate too generate too low white noise generate too little white noise so that is not the issue but i think you get my point thank you for watching and if you have any question about noise reduction in audacity please let me know in the comment